Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From yard work to plumbing problems, the volunteers at Rebuilding Together tackle all kinds of projects. David Cadavera and Carolee Peng Chen will tell us all about them. So David, you are the executive director. Carolee, you are the associate director. Really, your vision is a safe and healthy home for every person. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? Yeah, that's right. Well, we do that in, in what I think is a very beautiful and simple way, and it's neighbor helping neighbor. Um, similar to mentoring, it's a concept that's been around forever, mm -hmm. and it just makes a lot of sense, and I think that's why it's easy for people to rally around our cause, because, you know, they're someone's neighbor too, um, and we've all benefited from something like that in our lives. So you bring a lot of volunteers into the community to help out with certain issues? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Each year we engage about 2,000 volunteers to support our National Rebuilding Day and Team Build and Safe at Home Minor Home Repair programs. And with their help, we serve approximately 200 low-income homeowners and 40 to 50 community facilities. How do you train the volunteers? or Are they already skilled when they come in? We have a lot of weekend warriors um, who help us out a lot, as well as um, retired contractors um, and people who just want to lend a hand in different ways. So they might be able to help us clean up a house. They may be um, skilled at painting or um, electrical or roofing work. Um, and we really try to match the skills of our volunteers with the repair needs of our homeowners. Do you have a lot of retired people who, who want to come and help? Yeah, we love we love um, retirees who come on out and help us during the days um, doing these critical repairs for our homeowners. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have a lot of opportunities for high school students who'd like to be involved with our work, um, as well as corporate volunteers um, and just the average neighbor who wants to help somebody else in need. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we do have some video of someone talking about rebuilding together and how they offer home repairs. Another piece of the work that we do is serving other nonprofits. We allow them to do their mission better by not worrying about their facility repairs, allowing the money that they get from their donors to go to programs and their services. It's amazing to see a house or a nonprofit organization transformed by volunteers who are passionate about making someone's life better. Rebuilding Together Peninsula has incredible volunteer retention because so many people connect with the organization and with the work that they're able to do that they stay involved year after year after year. So David, there are three core programs, right? Mm -hmm. There are three core programs. We have our National Rebuilding Day program, which is our flagship program, and we've been doing that for the past 26 years. And that's where we bring um, thousands of volunteers together each year up and down the peninsula to serve our homeowners. Um, and many of them, like Carrie mentioned, are, are those projects are run by our volunteers, our skilled mm -hmm. construction, construction captains. And then we also have people that bring other volunteers to the table, which is just so beautiful to see it um, come together. So I, what I do on that day, um, because I'm one of the folks that's really good with the paintbrush, mm -hmm. um, is I drive through and just see colorful shirts making a difference in people's lives and it's really really beautiful. Is it amazing to you how many people are just so willing to give? Absolutely. Um, the work we do is so tangible. So I think that's what hooks our volunteers into working with us. There's nothing like a homeowner who's been in their home for 40 or 50 years um, and seeing that they finally have their hot water heater working again for mm -hmm. them after it's been mm -hmm. out for a couple of months or that squishy floor around the leaking toilet to have both of those be worries that they no longer have to worry about and knowing that you were the reason that that happened it's a great way for our volunteers to want to keep coming back and help us with this work. And who are the homeowners? Are a lot of them elderly? Sure, absolutely. All of our homeowners are low income members of our community. So um, we review every application. Um, and because it's difficult to be a homeowner in this area um, and be low income, the majority of our homeowners are seniors um, or disabled homeowners or people who've inherited the home after many, many years. Well, there are some special events. One of them is Kickoff to Rebuild. Mm -hmm. Kickoff to Rebuild is in cooperation with our national office and in partnership with the NFL. And each year um, we, we 
wherever the Super Bowl is being hosted, the, the regional affiliate will actually come through with a big project just in that neighborhood. Um, and so this year, as you know, Levi Stadium is hosting the Super Bowl. Um, in, we know in, that. We know that um, in, in February. And so leading up to that, we're actually leveraging that platform to bring a bunch of new sponsors and a bunch of new volunteers to the table to do a project that really we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And Carrie can talk a little bit about the homeowner specifically, but it's really nice to be able to say, hey, this is going to be um, broadcast in a new way. And a lot of people want to come to the table to support that. It's a great event. All right, David and Carolee, thank you so much. And for more information on Rebuilding Together Peninsula, just log on to rebuildingtogetherpeninsula.org. Again, that's rebuildingtogetherpeninsula.org. Coming up, game-changing after-school programs in San Francisco's Visitation Valley.